Hey guys, welcome back to the Python Image Library module tutorial series. Uh, we're still looking at image ops and image operations. In this video, I'm going to show you two of the other cool ones that I think you might be interested in, and then I'm just kind of going to breeze through the rest of the functions that I want to talk about in this image ops module, because uh, I think we're ready to wrap it up. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. Okay, let's dive right in. The first thing that I want to show you is grayscale, and what this will do is it will convert the image that you're working with to grayscale, black and white. It's pretty simple. All it takes is the image that you're working with as a function. Now, if I run this, we got our modified Python file, uh, at least Python image, being black and white, grayscale. Now, when we do this, we can also colorize it. The other function that I want to show you is simply colorize. And this is going to be imageops.colorize. And this takes the image, and it also takes colors for what would return, or at least what would, what would change the black and white values in the uh, grayscale image. So if I change all the black values to be red, like 255, 0, 0, and if I change all the white values to be, uh, let's do blue, 0, 0, 255, now when we check this out, minimize this here, it's a little bit of a different thing, right? <laughs> And uh, we can, of course, change any of these colors to be what we want them to be, but it's like substituting different colors for all of the black and white values that you would normally see in the image. So uh, that's kind of cool, and, I mean, you can play with it to do, it, do with it what you want. Now, note when you run the grayscale function, it is converting the image to a grayscale image mode. Like if I print out image.mode, we're going to get returned L rather than RGB because it literally is a one-channel black-and-white image. So, that's important to note. Okay, the other images, uh, image ops functions that I'm going to run through are pretty much stuff that we've already seen. Uh, here, I'll show you. Image ops has support for functions like flip, and what that does is it flips the image vertically. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll remove our, our, our grayscale line here. And it has the function mirror, which, you know, is horizontal. <laughs> so, uh, those are two other simple ones. It also has support for crop. We've also covered that already in the, uh, in the image module itself, rather than image ops. And that takes, um, kind of a border, uh, argument along with it. Like, this will be the numbers that it subtracts from all the edges. Like, if I passed in 20, check it out. Okay, now the image is a little bit smaller. You can see the edges have, have shrunk down. I'll do this a little bit more drastically with uh, 70. Now if you check it out, whoa, crop the image. It also has a function to kind of reverse this, though. It's got uh, border, I think it's called. Yeah, No, it's expand, sorry. Expand will add it 70 to the other edge, to all the four edges. If I run this, check it out. There it is. Now we can supply a fill color. Another argument. Fill. By default, it's zero, but we can set it to be white if we want it to be. 255, 255, 255. Check it out. Now you can see it's white rather than uh, the black like it was by default. So, simple stuff. And I'm pretty sure that's all I wanted to show you guys between grayscale, colorize, mirror, flip, and... Uh, crop and, and expand. So those are pretty simple image ops, image operations, and hey, it just wraps up the toolkit of other operations and things we can do with our image. So thank you guys for watching. Um, remember that these stuff, this stuff anyway, does not work unless you're working in the RGB format and RGB mode. You cannot have an alpha channel. If you wanted to, at the very end, after you've changed things, here, okay, this adds a little bit more depth to the tutorial. Let's say image is going to equal image ops dot invert. Our image, if I run this, we've got our inverted image, right? Now what we can do is we can say, oh man, image is going to equal this split. Let's do image dot load. And we'll copy the same line that we had up here. RG and B are going to equal image dot split. And now we'll create another image. but include the alpha channel. And we'll use the same A that we had up top. Right up here, right? So now hopefully, 
no errors. We can see just in the very corners here. Okay, I'm, I'm rotating with my touch screen, sorry. You can see these up here. Those are only visible because of the alpha channel. And you can see this is a this gray color is different from the black color in the Python's eye. Because that's where the alpha channels are. And okay, let's hop back on over here. We can print out image.mode and we get RGBA. We know that there is an alpha channel added, and it's the same alpha that we initially had in the initial image, because we kept track of it in this variable. We split it, created a new one that's just RGB, modified RGB with our invert function with image ops, and then we add the alpha channel back in. So, kind of a little repetitive, but it gets the job done because we want to invert it, and we can't do it if it's an RGBA mode image. We just bring it back to an RGBA image when we're done inverting it, or any other operations we want to run with our image ops module. So, okay. There we go. Uh, I'm good. I'm happy. I'm content. <laughs> I hope you guys are. I hope you guys are happy and content. If you are, I don't know, maybe like the video. Maybe leave, uh, maybe leave me some constructive criticism. Maybe leave a comment. Or maybe, if you're feeling generous, subscribe. You know I'd love that. I'll see you in the next tutorial.